So right now, we're just going to do the rectal exam. So I'm just going to put some gel on my glove finger, okay? And then you just relax, okay? All right. Don't worry. I'm here at the EuroHealth Medical Clinic in Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital in conjunction with Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. Now, not many people know that prostate cancer is the third most common cancer among men in Singapore. And the first step to knowing if you have it is to go for a digital rectal exam. Now, I know this all sounds really scary and painful, but I've been told that it's perfectly fine. So let's go try it out. So a digital rectal exam doesn't mean that it's a computer. Digital is more about the finger, it's a digit. So a rectal exam, as it means, is basically we're going to put our, my finger into your backside mm. to have a feel. It's not painful, but I wouldn't say it's comfortable either. So it's a very short procedure. It takes all of about a minute uh, at most to do the rectal exam, to do a proper rectal exam, yeah. So the prostate will be feeling for certain things like, is there any nodules? Uh, is there any uh, hardness to the prostate? Because the prostate should be sort of rubbery in consistency. And whether there's any fixation of the, you know, the backside, the anal mucosa or surface to the prostate. The signs of uh, cancer in the rectal exam would be if, let's say, it's kind of stuck together and we can't separate them and they, they, are, they don't, they are fixed. If there is a nodule in the prostate or if the prostate is rock hard, then we'll be concerned uh, about some kind of tumour of the prostate. I see. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you, you just lie down here. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay, then turn towards that side of the room. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay, <laughs> no worries. Okay, then bend your knees towards your tummy. Like a baby, like that. What they call a baby. Like position. that? Yeah, that's right. Okay, just relax there. Okay, yep. you're doing really well. <laughs> Don't worry. So right now, we're just going to do the rectal exam. So okay. I'm just going to put some gel on my glove finger. Okay. okay? And then you just relax, okay? All right. Don't worry. Yeah. You're doing really well. Okay. Okay, just put a bit of pressure on your backside now. Yep. Uh, sorry, sorry. Wow. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, you're doing really well. Almost done. Wow, I feel like I need going to poop. Yeah. On the poop kind of feeling, yeah. <laughs> okay, all feels normal. Great. We are Thank all you done. So much. <laughs> Let me get some tissue and clean you up, okay? <laughs> yeah, thanks so much. <laughs> no worries. Oh okay, God. all done. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, uh, Dr. Tan, for the exam. <laughs> uh, how would you say it's my prostate? Your prostate is totally normal on examination, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, at your age, we wouldn't be very worried about a prostate cancer. Most of the cancers will occur in men above 50 years of age, though I have seen younger patients with cancers. And this is uh, particularly so if they have certain uh, predisposing uh, uh, family factors or what we call genetic factors. So usually I tell people above 50 definitely get screened for prostate cancer. Screening means no symptoms, do the tests, okay? Of course, if you have a family history of cancer and all that, then I would start at 45 or maybe even 40 years mm. old. So usually when we talk about a screening test for someone with, uh, with, who's worried about prostate cancer, so the screening is when there is no symptoms, okay? We do two things uh, at minimal, okay? One is the rectal exam. The second thing is called a PSA or prostate specific antigen. And this is a blood test. It's a simple blood test and it gives us uh, appreciation about your risk of having prostate cancer. Okay. So the symptoms for prostate cancer are oftentimes going to be, one part of it is going to be similar symptoms to prostate enlargement. And this will be things like uh, slowing in the urine stream, urgency, frequency of urination, blood in the urine, this test would push us towards doing further evaluation. Mm. The other set of symptoms regarding, with regards to prostate cancer would be if it's a later stage cancer. And this would be like bone pain, sometimes even uh, shortness of breath, okay, uh, or even uh, something wrong with the liver. Because the other set of symptoms regarding with relation to prostate cancer would be when it spreads. So when it spreads, it often goes to bone, spreads can go to the lung and then to the liver and other organs yeah mm. so you can get a test done uh, many places mm. uh, if you have a general practitioner which i suggest you have your own family practitioner and who knows your your situation and your family situation mm. 
you can arrange for a PSA and a rectal exam with your GP. Uh, and I think that is the best first point of contact. Yeah. Uh, if it's abnormal, then they can refer you on to a urologist for further evaluation. Mm. Yeah. So thankfully, the doctor has said that my prostate is well and truly okay. Um, but overall, I would say the test is uh, painless, but slightly uncomfortable, especially when the doctor first tries to insert his finger. But if any of you think that you should go for this test for whatever reason, I will recommend just going for it because uh, you never know. It can help detect cancer early and help with your treatment down the road.